Welcome to another video. Today you will learn how to create a custom search engine. Google has lots of tools and one of them is a custom search engine that allows educators or anyone to create a customized search experience for a particular audience. You may want to do this in a school so that students don't stumble upon inappropriate material while they're doing work in your classroom because certainly that'll be a distraction and it could cause some problems with their parents or with the principal so this is one way to help us avoid certain things on the web and it, and it lets us harness the power of the internet without having to sift through a bunch of random websites that may not have information that students need so teachers can really consolidate and customize the learning experience so log into your gmail account find more and then select the drop down menu scroll to the bottom to choose even more on this page you'll see other tools that you may want to investigate scroll down to specialized search and choose custom search this is the home page for the custom search and there's two things that we want to pay attention to here create custom search engine and manage existing search engines I'll select this first so we can take a look at what these search engines will look like this is one that I've created notice that it shows the websites that I've defined to be part of the search you have VCDH and here there's a teaching history and then here's the search engine so I type in a search like I normally would and notice that the returns or the results look similar to what I would normally get however you notice that I'm only getting returns from the list that I just showed you and that's what we want in our custom search engine Now we'll go back to the main page. Now before you create your custom search engine, you probably want to go do your investigations of the websites that you want to use. And that's where a tool like Digo will come in because you'll be able to go to a website, investigate it, make sure the information is appropriate, make sure it's doing things that you would consider good in terms of the learning experience for the user. And then once you do, you can save it in Digo until you get enough to where you think that's all you'll need, maybe 10 sites, maybe 15, depends on how many you think are appropriate. Once you determine that, have them all saved, you can come here because creating a custom search engine will take very little time and you'll see how quick we can create one. Click this button. You need to give it a name, give it a description, and here's where you would type your sites or paste them. So at this point, you could just open Digo, copy a site, and paste it here or you could type it as well copy and paste to work faster if you've already found the sites and notice it says list URL per line so that just means you hit enter and on the next line you enter your next web address and that's what the URL is universal resource locator but we usually just call it website and now it shows you what edition you're using which is standard edition that's fine to use and the site search this would be something that the school would look into because it costs some money unless you wanted to spend your own money you could but the standard edition works very well and then make sure that you highlight this checkbox choose next now you can customize it a bit you can choose a, a particular style for it it comes with a default but maybe you want to use something different so you can do, use that and then you select next and now your custom search engine has been created so you can go back and make some changes from here if you need to you can also get the code for it if you want to embed it and that's all you need to do to create your custom search engine again most of the work will come from researching the websites that you think will be appropriate and provide enough information for someone to complete a task that you want them to complete and this could be used at any level so it doesn't really matter because um, you get to define the experience alright so what we'll do is take a look at what this looks like now so I've navigated back to this page and now I can click on manage your existing search engines and here is the newest one I just created and I select it and this is what it looks like and notice it only has one website here because that's all I typed in and that's all you need to do to create a custom search engine